Yo, what is up, everybody? It's me, Sports Arms, right? And today we'll be doing a, another Balls and Ribbons CFM series. Hope y'all had a good week, and I, and I hope y'all have a Merry Christmas. This is going to be Christmas Eve because I won't be here on Christmas Day. I won't see y'all until the Saturday of Christmas Day or the week of, of the Christmas. Next Saturday, so uh, this is gonna be like the 29th. I'll upload right there. But yeah, pretty good. I mean, not the not the best, but 12 and 0. I simmed because uh, I got a little bored and we needed to hurry this up. So it's basically what happened. I'm gonna show this in the video. But Lamar Jackson is first starting to get the touchdown. League's first. Adrian is like third. Pretty good. Like, two yards. He's fourth. First touchdown. He's, yes, he's low on reception though. He's like, he's not, he's pretty low. He's not that good. He's kind of trash. Two yards. Yeah. Crushing. Zeke, number one. Kind of sad. He's like, you know, really, he's a lot of carries when he has that many, that many yards. Kind of bad though, but if you look at me, a lot of his turns only 38 yards. It's not that good, but you know what? He gets first down. He goes with contact. I'll leave him a lot. He's probably like third or fourth. Yeah, he's fourth. A lot. <laughs> like 164 is a lot. 30 broken tackles. Two fumbles. 100 yards per game. That's the thing. 100 yards per game. He's that's why he's number one. See the 100 yards per game. Uh, let's see, defense or leading the league in interceptions still. Like, we have so many, dude. Like, I mean, we have so many. Like, we probably have a lot. Like, look at this. That guy has three. That's like that's eight. Uh, 11. 14. 16. 18. 20. 21. 22. 23. 23 interceptions. Like, that's insane. Sacks, we have a good amount of sacks too, like seven sacks, five and a half, five and a half, that's eleven right there, plus the seven, that's eight, eighteen. We have a lot of sacks. We'll say this. We have a lot of receiving. When it comes to receiving, we got a lot of receiving yards right there. Like look at this, we've got to have two receiving. Like, two well, <laughs> oh my god, maybe we can't receive it. Crabtree has four touchdowns, not the best, but, I mean, not doing too bad. There's no way Adrian's gonna get 100 touchdowns. He's gonna get 1,000 yards for us, man. Elliot's not doing too bad. He doesn't, he doesn't really get those, he doesn't really catch the ball much, so, he's not the best, dude. So, I want to give my, my man, uh, Sean Colkin. Still on the team. Is he actually still on the team? I wonder if he's still on the team. I think he is. I think he is. Yeah, he's still on the team. I guess he's not there. Alright, well, let's start this, start this game against the uh, Chiefs. So we're week 14. I simmed it. We need to just think. And it'll bring up a Thanks second down. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right Three, in the middle, middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. Oh. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. The numbers for Hill a week ago. Five catches, 72 yards. And he was able to get open there, but that's not always easy against this bunch defensively. We are deep enough into the season where numbers count. This is number one rated defense in the NFL. He'll have a tough time. Ooh, and he's taken down. Eddie's. Eddie's. What a 
pass rush has been a real strength of late. They know how to get after the quarterback. Absolutely. Four sacks last week. That's their first one here. Anything in particular you've seen from them or on film? I think that they're winning athletically up front, winning those one-on-one -on -one battles, but also when the offensive line wants to keep everyone in a mass protect, they know how to scheme their way back to the quarterback as well. It's a pick up for 12, and that'll set up a third down. <laughs> He got two catches on the opening drive, and they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball, and sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep... Was he caught that, really? That's so bad. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Mahomes to the former Ram, Sammy Watkins for the Kansas City first. How about to start throwing the football? Four for four on this opening drive. Oh, he's slinging it. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing the ball. Oh. Oh. Terry killed the beast. Sudden they're knocking on the door inside Baltimore's 10. Oh, there will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that and have explosive plays, that's often the difference oh, oh in winning and losing. <laughs> I don't know about that. Defense off balance, that will drive the team towards a victory. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. There's the offensive play. Oh, Terry kills you. Dude, what the heck? Terry kills kill. what the heck? His third touchdown now on the year. Third touchdown of the year, really? Right down and score touchdown. on the opening drive. Looking sharp on that first drive. These guys, of course, coming off back-to-back -back victories. And you see that kind of advancing into this game, don't you? You certainly do. And when you have a team that doesn't get too full of well, itself, even though they've won two games in a row, you get the end result that we saw there. That nice opening drive because they're sharp, they're focused, and they're locked into everything that they're doing. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 18. That's after the one by Zeke Elliott. So. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And now running right through. Zeke. The free. His way up near the 25. The numbers for Zeke from last week. 19 carries, 97 yards, and a touchdown. And a rushing title's definitely within. It works. On the side of the football, I mean, they're bouncing off the walls, wanting to get out there. But they also understand that they're going to face some really stacked defenses down the stretch because they don't want it to happen at their expense. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high powered, You've got to find a way to hold them under 20, because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points score gives yourself a, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around... Lamar Jackson, that the ball. Maybe they could be in some trouble. And I think so, because then you turn into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. Five yards on the scramble, and that's enough to pick up the first. We just saw a nice example of why teams Rumbling. often bring Rumbling. in baseball guys to Rumbling. teach quarterbacks how to slide in key situations. Elliott. Make sure he doesn't get hurt. He did exactly that on that play. A perfect slide to avoid the big hit and pick up a first down. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Okay. Off the play fake. Here's Jackson. He'll buy some time. Oh, wide open. That's Hilton. Easy. And this will set them up nicely deep down in KC territory. A big play that time for the Ravens. No, 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 no. 45 Patrick, Patrick, Patrick. yards. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside, and he just showed it right there. Pretty good arm, too. And he's got this one down to the 10. First down. Some big plays in the passing game on this drive, and here's one out of the running game. So the passing game loosening things up. Now there's room to roam. Now Mahomes. This like, we should get pressure there, dude. Tyreek Hill with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chiefs add on to their lead. Oh, Chief. We got a score here. 
We, we get ball at half, but I would like to get speed or feature someone, and it works. First two drives, as you noted, end up in touchdown passes. I think they're going to keep going to them until the defense makes any kind of adjustment. And he's stop. up past the 20 to and the 20. And then they go. They need to fix that guy. And the Ravens taking the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three point the kicker here. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. And he comes back to the home. Come on. Boys, come on. A whole lot of credit thanking them for that much space to run. Touchdown. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Baltimore. Elliot. Yeah. Hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Ravens draw a bit closer. Yeah. Exactly. He put it through the post. That's going to help him in contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him in contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Toe bash. I don't know about Toe that. Bash. <laughs> Super tough. Jackson now. He's going to run. Oh, my God. What a beast. The tail. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That one goes for 36 yards. The first down carried by Elliott. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Bottom line, though, three points for the opening drive of the third quarter. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 26. They'll try and get the running game going with Elliott. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking. But the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. I, I a really nice run. It's too big of a hole. They go to Elliott again. It's too big of a hole, man. I, I, I can't pass it. Three yard line. But I will it. It's a nine yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. But so after a good run by good. Zeke, another first and ten. Jackson. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. Never do screen. It's one of those. Taken down right at the line. No gain on the screen there. It's second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion. We're back now in KC. It's the Ravens with possession of the football, but trailing on the big board as we get set for the fourth. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. From the gun, it's Jackson. And this one hauled it. Hang on. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. That's good for a Raven first down, 15 yards oh, there. The Charles, this one, not over, certainly, but you set the magic number earlier in this game at 20 points, said that they would need to hold them right around that marker under it. And what, what are you seeing here? Well, that Tavon Austin, touchdown. Dude, Tavon's a beast. Touchdown, Tavon Austin. Oh, the robot. Yep. On the season, and the Ravens have taken Tavon the lead. Austin. Getting your back involved. What's the importance there in the passing game? Well, off in the 35-yard line. Ten yards on the pickup ever. there, and it'll be second down. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on. Yeah, who was that? I don't know who that is, but oh, Sean Lee, what a beast, bro. Sean Lee. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, what a beast. this is going to be the result every time. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back. Those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. Oh, my God. Dude. Oh. And they'll take over inside. That's the new that's the new guy. What a beast, bro. What a beast. Thomas. And he may want to track down that football because that's interception number one on his career. You're saying that's going into the trophy case? I'd put it there. Yeah, no doubt about it. That's when you ask the equipment guys to make sure they hold it for you after the game. But 
you play in the back seven on defense, that's part of your job, finding ways to take the ball away from the other team. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Second I want to get like a really good game. A bit of a gamble, yeah. isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. And a five-yard gain as he's down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to check it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to protect. Oh, that's that. He's taken down. That's their first time getting to the quarterback sack number one. And, you know, they had five last week, I remember. And you have to find a way to slow down the pass rush, not necessarily with just protecting your quarterback. But you show them a lot of different looks, and they did that in the first half. You know, different angles, different things to slow down the speed. They got to them here in the second half. Now they've got to come up with a counter to that and maybe do something different. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot okay. connect. So I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up. Oof, who was saying it? Dude, I'm not going to play defense. License, don't you? Anyway. <laughs> Just not enough time for the way they mess up, so I'm not going to do it. Wait, hold up. Interesting. They're driving. They're driving. They scored. Kick. So no question here. Down by a score late. They're going to try the onside kick. And this one recovered by the hands team for the Ravens. A tough one there. They certainly wanted that one. They needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it. They still do have three timeouts. I'm just gonna put him in because I really don't want my guys to get hurt. But Ryan Griffin there, who cares? You're exactly right. They had to attempt it, but even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they can get these stops on defense, all hope is not lost. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy, and he's gonna be met at about the 43. Now here's a defensive timeout did, called him, yeah. by the Chiefs. As they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. The give is to Elliott. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. And the Chiefs are going to signal for and be granted another timeout. As they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. The first throw for the backup, Griffin. Throw left side is complete to Reed. Uh, the Chiefs quickly now going to use the last Smart thing to do, but I, I, I want to get... Stoppage with 65 seconds <laughs> and here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with Griffin. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Reed. But he will be stopped behind the line as he will not come close to the marker. Well, they were looking for a clutch play there on fourth. Unable to come up with it. How about that defense, though, huh? How about that dig? That momentum swing. And, you know, I remember playing how much fourth downs were emphasized. You know, because, as you said, it's a momentum play. It's also a big test for you. You know, if people are going to go for it on fourth down, they believe you're not up to the challenge. You want to show them differently. It's my fault if we lose. He's back to throw. Looking right side, and that's complete to What the? Dude, that's so bad. This inside the 30. Oh, he, he oh, didn't get a bounce either. Again, it's his sixth so catch so and a first down. First down now, but that clock rolling. Now flags oh. will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. 
And the movement there coming from the middle of the line. And you understand he wants to get off the ball quickly, but the ball's right in front of him. He has to watch it move first. Here we go. Green, 90. Green, 90. Back to throw. Oh. Picked off by Janoris Jenkins. 30. The 20. And he will score. Touchdown, Baltimore. Oh, uh, okay. That's that's that. Yeah. Now remember, this is the number one defense in the National Football League. There's a good example of why. Shows it. The other guys get some playing time? Nah, last they got some yards, but that's about it. Okay. Hope y'all enjoyed that episode of this. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace, always, and stay gold. Tower on the beat. Girl, tell me why. Why we fight. Why we lie. Why do we cry. Girl, tell me why. Why we fight. Why we lie? Why we cry? I don't know. I don't show.